Good evening, everybody. It's 11.45 p.m. on Thursday, November 4th. So in 15 minutes, it'll be Friday. Much earlier than I normally do the videos. Um, but I was just up letting my dogs out in the backyard to do their bathroom. So I figured I'd take a peek in here now. They haven't been disturbed at all in a couple days. So I don't think much is going to change in the next few hours. Hold well on and let me turn on the flash. And we'll see what's going on. Okay, looks like pumpkin is really sunken. A sunken pumpkin. Well, now I predicted nine days for this to collapse. And... It was either Robert or Russell, I will get that right, I'll look it up, um, estimated 16 days. Now, I wouldn't call this completely collapsed, but you can see it's nearly at the soil line in some areas, and it's definitely split open. I'm trying to zoom in a little bit. It's not, it's not much of a hike anymore. I mean, it's a half a finger length to get up. So, and yeah, it looks like a lot of it just sort of, they ate it so much that it just, let me zoom in a little bit. Pieces of it just collapsed inward. So it looks like it's an implosion, not an explosion. Though I think either would be a bit extreme. How about just the collapse? I'm just peeling these pieces back because I want to see. I want to see these worms. They're like, hey, put me back. Put me down. You got no business doing this. Um, it is starting to get a little stinky, I will say. Not, I, I didn't smell anything when the when it was closed, but I guess this much liquid and decaying vegetable matter at this point, um, even though it's a worm's dream, it's I can smell it now when I open the bin. It just smells like decaying pumpkin. I mean, it's not, not a horrible smell, but at this rate, I don't think it's going to be around much longer. Oh, look, there's a little beetle in there. Little black beetle. I bet you that came in on one of the bean pods or something I put in there because it's definitely not a mite or anything like that. All right, so this, this one here is still standing, so I'm not going to mess with it. This piece has just flopped over. Oh, geez. Look what's under it. Lots of very happy worms, and this piece here is still standing, although just barely if I peek behind it, there's an army of worms working to get it down. Now, the inside has really filled up, which I guess I would assume at this point that they've consumed the bottom out of this. And I'm just, I'm digging around. Because that's what I do. Yeah, that, see, in here, of course, it's very wet. And it smells a bit funky. Out here, this is this is dry. I mean, this is quite powdery. So probably um, in a few more days, when they get this down just a little bit more, I'm going to just go ahead and break the rest of it up and mix the wet, being all this stuff here. And with the dry castings that are in the rest of the bin, you know, because I, you know, they'll continue to work this, and when it's gone, it's gone. But um, I, I do need to mix mix the castings up. I just saw a little fruit fly hopping around there, which is strange because I don't know how. 
given that this is zipped up, a fruit fly even got in. I guess I had a crack in there. So, I mean, I guess it's the same, the same old, same old, as far as the worms go. Nothing's going to be changing there. There's one of the pumpkin seeds. The worms are still prolific and still enjoying the heck out of this fall treat. And trying to see if we can see down to the bottom. Well, it doesn't look like they've eaten all the bottom out yet. Like on the where on the walls. I mean, just look at them. They're just these are some happy worms right here. Now, as far as the rest of this bin, I don't know what's happening with it. I mean, yeah, I can see. Could see worms definitely all the way around it. Probably those that haven't, um, either those that haven't made their way into it yet, or perhaps some that ate and you know are full and are taking a little break because worms don't eat continuously. They eat, they breed, they have, you know, they they don't just gorge themselves to death. So they'll probably. For the sake of getting a break from the moistness, um, come back out into these drier bedding, the drier bedding around, because you can see how nice and almost fluffy, it's a weird word, huh? Fluffy for worm castings, but yeah, definitely, I mean, you can hear it as it hits, hits the side, you can hear that, that dry sound. So this is really nice, and um, the moisture that's in the pumpkin will get mixed into these castings that are dry out here, and it'll ha it'll all equal out well once this experiment is over. So yeah, there's there's some worms around hanging around the outside of the bottom. One thing I noticed, um, more of the euros are on the outside and more of the wigglers are on the inside not exclusively it's not an absolute but the couple times i have dug around see like that right there coming out that's that's another euro not sure whose cocoon that is um but it, it seems to be the euros that have been around the outsides and the wigglers have been on the inside and that could simply be that the euros are prefer to be a little bit deeper um they definitely do see like i'm digging them up here and i'm seeing the euros for sure and a few of the wigglers but mostly it's euros on the outside so maybe that's just because the euros like to be deeper they're not surface feeders as much as the wigglers and this stuff here, you know, it's pretty much uncovered and it's at the surface. So the, and there are euros in here, obviously, but there's more red wigglers. I would love to know what the population, the worm population of this bin really is. But I think that'll be a little too much to count because this is full. I'm not going to go through it all over again, but... I mean, this, this whole inside is full, and if I scrape anywhere along the edge, anywhere, it's worms. I bet if I scrape over here, it's worms. I mean, it's just, anywhere I scrape, it's just going to be more and more big piles of worms. So, yeah, it is. it is several thousand at this point. Uh, and they're doing a really good job. So that's it. Um, nothing more to see or say here tonight. I will do another update. I've switched every other day because not much has been changing that much from day to day. But now we're at sort of a... Let me move this back to the way we found it here. Um, now we're at sort of a breaking point or a changing point because they have... Well, the pieces that collapsed in, I sort of tossed off to the side here, but they were collapsed in. And you can see this is about to break in, and so is this. And this is really soft, too. So 
um, it's going to be any day now. All right, well, we're not, not, we're not at the nine-day mark yet, although I think my, my count is going to be a little shy, and I don't know if it's going to take 16 days, probably somewhere between the two. But either way, it's been a fun experiment, at least for me, and more importantly, it's been great for the worms. They're making some, you know, kind of stinky castings right now because we've got a Big piece of rotting vegetable matter in there. But as I show you, the castings all around it are dry and healthy. And once I mix them in, it's good as gold. I'll be able to unzip the bottom, harvest it, and keep this bin, keep this bin going. Look at, there's a little guy up there. Where would he go? I don't know why this one seems stuck. Don't be stuck. Here. Ear left here. It's probably going to eat 10 pounds of pumpkin right now. Here's another. Now they can be friends. All right, folks. Well, I hope everybody has a good night. I will be doing an update on this bin in two days. You may see another video from me before then. I'm not sure. Take care and... Um, leave any comments or feedback below the video, please. And as always, like and share this video. Thank you. Have a good night.